think we're living in a great time for people who follow these series and love it. And, you know, if this is the final one for Picard, sure. But the Trek, to, you know, the utopia and the concept of betterment and all that, that never ends. So this is just a good time for this. Hi, we're here at the Star Trek Picard premiere with WWE superstar Cody Rhodes. Cody, on a scale of warp one to warp 10, how excited are you for tonight? Oh, warp 10? Warp 10, absolutely. I've never been on the ground uh, for something in the, in the, in the Trek first. I'm a big fan of Deep Space Nine, Voyager, Enterprise, Stranger Worlds, uh, everything, everything. But it's all been, I've gone back and watched these series. I've never been in the live setting. So to be able to see this bridge crew come back, to be able to see Worf come back, I've been telling everybody, every wrestler has like a little Worf in them, you know? To see that's very exciting. Well, I can tell you, I've seen some of the episodes. Worf is absolutely incredible in season three. Like, you are going to be so happy to see Worf. My, Michael Dorn's just the freaking best. And uh, and I, it was this was one of those things where, for me, since I, I went back and everything and looked back at it, to see it all in real time, though, you know, Gates McFadden and Jordy and the whole deal, just... Uh, I think we're living in a great time for people who follow these series and love it. And, you know, if this is the final one for Picard, sure. But the Trek, to, you know, the utopia and the concept of betterment and all that, that never ends. So this is just a good time for this. I feel like the Star Trek philosophy also kind of works into the Cody Rhodes character. You stand for a lot of the same ideals. I would like... And hope, yeah, I think even as I've gotten older, more and more, uh, even though I'm in the business of conflict, more and more I seek out the uh, more diplomatic solutions, not unlike uh, John Luke Picard himself. And uh, there's something to the diplomacy and language of a wrestling promo uh, that's present in all the captains. So, yeah, I, I, I think so. That's awesome. Now, of course, you are going to WrestleMania. You are main eventing against Roman Reigns for the... For the uh, WWE Universal All Championship, belts, right? It's yeah. such a the WWE Undisputed Universal Championship. I think I got in trouble for not knowing how to say it all the other night. Yeah, I almost just uh, screwed it up myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, Roman Reigns is the head of the table, or he calls himself the head of the table, the Tribal Chief. What can he learn from John Luke Picard to be a better leader? Ooh, you know, Roman Reigns has got a real. Uh, Gold Ducat, Cardassian vibe. If that, you know, it's all about power and it's all about stature, and he's uh, earned it for 800 and something days. But I think the thing that he could probably Luke learn from John Luke is everybody's got a surprise, you know, up their sleeve. He he thinks he knows everything about me. I don't think he knows anything about me. I think he's walking into this really, really, really undervaluing me as an opponent because he's beat everybody. He's beat Daniel Bryan, he's beat Edge at the same time, uh, he's beat uh, Drew, I mean, literally Kevin Owens, it's... I, I think he's uh, underestimating me and I wouldn't mind if he continues to underestimate me. Well, Cody, I am a massive fan. I am rooting for you at WrestleMania. I believe you're taking the title. And thank you so much for speaking with me. Yeah, thank you very much. I'm excited. Let's do it.